This video reviews the two most critical instruments for suturing a plastic surgery, which are the needle driver and the forceps. The needle driver pushes the needle through the skin, while the forceps hold the skin and stabilize the needle. There are many different types of forceps that are used in plastic surgery. For suturing, the toothed Adson forcep is the most important. The toothed Adson forceps are designed with small teeth, which allows the skin to be held atraumatically. Non tooth Adson forceps, such as a DeBakey forcep or an Adson Brown forcep, should not be used on the skin because the blunt end will crush the tissue and cause damage. The best way to hold the tooth Adson forcep is to hold it like a pencil, pinching it between your thumb and your index and middle finger. This gives you better control of the instrument and allows you to be more precise with your suturing. Whenever possible, it's best to use a platformed Adson forcep. A platform Datsun forcep has either a raised or knurled area behind the teeth. This is in contrast to a smooth or non-platform Datsun forcep, which does not have any area behind the teeth that allows grip of the needle. In this example, you can see how the smooth area on this non-platform Datsun forceps does not securely hold the needle, and the needle slides. In contrast, this is a platform Datsun forcep, so when you're suturing, it holds a needle and prevents it from sliding, which gives much greater control. Let's go ahead and talk about needle drivers now. There are many different sizes and shapes of needle drivers that can be used for suturing. There's no perfect size of needle driver. The most important is to find one that fits your hand comfortably. When gripping the needle driver, your fingers can be either inside or outside of the holes. Placing your fingers outside of the holes is called palming the needle driver like this video shows. This may give better control of the needle driver than having your fingers placed inside the holes, but you must be able to open and close the needle driver with the hypothenar area behind your thumb. There's a special type of needle driver that we use when suturing called an Olsen Hagar needle driver. An Olsen Hagar needle driver has a cutting edge behind the teeth. This allows the person who is suturing to cut their own stitches and not have to wait for the assistant. When suturing large incisions such as an abdominoplasty or breast reduction, this can save significant time.